It's All Gravy with Teresa. Good morning. This is Teresa with It's All Gravy with Teresa. Um, we're going to do another video today. This is going to be one of the short ones that um, Clint puts up during the middle of the week. And this time of year, it's a favorite. Um, if, especially if you have garden or you go by the farmer's market. Uh, cukes and onions, as we call it in the restaurant business. Uh, and there's all kinds of different ways you can make it. Uh, another recipe that is just where you can adjust it to your family and another one that you can pass down. Uh, that's pretty good, but my mama always put apple cider vinegar. It gives it a little bit of a bite. Um, so it's a, it's a good recipe. It's easy. It's quick. And we're going to uh, do that today. I also wanted to mention, you know, I told you before about how that I suffer from depression and uh, you know I've had a had a little bit about of it today um, I'm reminded again today that people come in and out of our lives and uh, we can cherish the memories and I'm so glad that we can um, just remember the good times if that's what we want to do um, and I'm just I'm blessed with all of the people that I've met in my life and the impact that they've had on me. And I like to think that um, each relationship I've had um, has taught me something, um, and I've taken something away from it. So in that, um, you know, I told you I do different things, readings or whatever, and on my little prayer card today, uh, it's from Isaiah, sorry, put my glasses back on, because I am blind as a bat. Isaiah 58, 11. And it says, where God guides, he provides. And I forget that sometimes. I get in a rush. My instincts want to take over that I'm supposed to take care of everything. I'm supposed to make sure that everybody is in good shape and they're all happy. And when I do that, um, that makes me anxious. It makes me uh, upset during the day. I'm short during the day. And I am learning to just be still and know that God is God. Uh, if he has brought me to this certain place, he is definitely not going to drop me now. Uh, and he will provide. Uh, I know during all this COVID mess, we have so many people that have lost jobs and having to learn to live with less. And, um, you know, but as I'm being reminded daily, living with less is okay uh, and I'm very fortunate for the times that I had an overabundance uh, but living with less is okay and it's a lot less stressful uh, so I'm just I'm reminded today by this little verse um, Isaiah 58 11 where God guides he provides uh, so I hope whoever needed to hear that today got it and for me uh, I'm going to try to live my life in that today. So, cucumber and onions. Uh, it's going to be easy and fun. And we're going to head to the kitchen after I pull up this hair. Hey guys, this is Teresa in Teresa's Kitchen. And we're here with It's All Gravy with Teresa. And today, we're going to do a short little summer recipe uh, cucumber and onions or as in the restaurant you know we didn't want to rot out cucumbers so it's been lovingly cukes and onions and um, it's just a great summer recipe for us to use all of our stuff up out of the garden or the farmers market it's nice and refreshing good and cool little salad um, we always start by washing our hands uh, we've already um, cleaned our counters up and um, wiped them down and we're going to do cucumber and onions. Um, we'll start by, this is all out of my garden except for the onions. Uh, this is what I picked last night. This is the cucumbers and the tomatoes off of our little bitty garden that I'm so proud of. 
So my worsted cucumbers, and uh, I think our recipe card calls for two, but I'm gonna go ahead and use three. Um, the nice thing about this is another one of the recipes that you're going to tweak uh, just for your family. Um, you know, there's different ways. Uh, you can use white vinegar, apple cider vinegar, balsamic vinegar. You can add dill to it, more sugar, less sugar, uh, oil, no oil. Uh, and you'll figure, you mess around with it, and you'll figure out how your family likes it best. Um, and again, it's just a, a great, cool salad for these hot, humid days. Uh, so we're going to peel our cucumbers, and I wanted to mention our little chickens. Uh, they are doing so good. Uh, shout out to Bentley Farms, um, Allie and Wyatt. Um, the chickens in one week, from Friday to Friday, we got 23 eggs. And uh, this is our take for the week already. They're just doing so good. And I keep a little scrap bucket, which sounds pretty gross. But it's just where I get the ends and the... Um, peels and the chickens love it they love the stuff out of there uh, something other than just the feed that we give them so i got my handy dandy pampered chef peeler and um, that's another thing for me for years you know i just used whatever and bought you know probably one a week but it's one of those things that i found when you can afford to get one you know, this, this one I've probably had five or six years, and it's still good and sharp and uh, does a great job. So you can either peel these or not peel them. I like mine peeled. Um, you can do it either way. Uh, if you're doing, like, for a uh, party, uh, when I was doing catering, I used to take the and just do a strip on the cucumber every once in a while, where you still had the different shades of green, kind of like that. And then when you chopped them up in your salad, it made it more uh, pretty to look at. So again, you know, just something you can do for your family. Oh, I got left a big chunk off of that. Okay. I hope everybody's had a good week. Clint and I are trying to um, shoot these a couple of times a week. We're looking for, a, do you call them bite, bite pieces? Sized. Bite sized. Uh, and that's little easy things like this. And then we're going to shoot for our big video, or longer video. Y'all know how long I like them. Um, we're going to shoot, we're going to do banana, or banana bread. My granddaughter, Mila, loves banana bread. So we got the cucumbers peeled. We'll go ahead and just slice them up. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to add some of our fresh tomatoes. Uh, but when you do your slices, again, whatever your family likes, uh, we like bigger chunks. Uh, but you can do as small, as thin as you like. Now we've already washed these off. You can peel them or not peel them. Make sure to cut your ends off. Or somebody's going to get a bitter bite. And another thing about knives, this is another good knife. Uh, you know, when you're, you're young and you just start housekeeping, if somebody doesn't give it to you, it takes a while for you to build up your kitchen. And... Um, that's another thing that I had to, after I got where I could afford to, I invested in some good knives. And uh, they are a big investment. So I encourage any of you uh, brides uh, to put on your registry, uh, don't forget about your kitchen. Uh, knives, peelers, the little things that you might forget because eventually you're going to have to cook the... Uh, the lovey-dovey will last about a year, and then everybody's going to want something to eat. So it's a good thing for you to put on your register or to ask your family for when you're starting to housekeep. 
uh, that's our cucumbers. And then I like um, Valdea onions. Excuse the oven. Um, Valdea onions. They're a good, sweet onion, but you can use um, yellow onions, white onions, purple onions. That makes a very festive looking salad. Um, the chickens won't get these onions. I'm not going to, I don't know why. I just don't think they'll like them. I may be all wrong, but I'm not going to put them in my scrap bucket. Um, and these onions, another thing, uh, I put mine in little rings. And it's, you can decide how you want to do it. Um, if you want chunks, if you like onions. But this, we're going to put a half of this in there. And I'm just going to do it like this. The, I said rings, but it said a half, so I'm going to do it like this. Always watch when you're uh, cutting. My friend Bobby Claypool um, is already passed, but he told me years ago, he was back there in the kitchen watching me do something, and he taught me to how to hold my fingers and where I'm not going to cut my finger off. You hold your food and you cut right at the edge of your fingernails. That way if it slips, if you get anything, it's just going to be a nail. One of the many lessons that I got from Mr. Claypool. So then you just break these up in here. See how pretty they shred up? And I do love cooking. You know, I think um, I enjoy it now. Um, and it's a good thing because I have to cook every day a couple meals. Um, but it's relaxing to me when the kitchen's quiet and I'm getting things prepared for the night and, you know, maybe my husband will say, you know, thank you, that was a good meal. Um, uh, and it makes you feel good. So, that's our onion. And then, I'm going to do, uh, just the cucumber and onions and then I'm going to add the tomatoes that came out of my handy dandy garden. Uh, but for now, we're going to put a third of a cup, and I use apple cider vinegar because I like that little bit of bite that it gives you. So, apple cider vinegar. And then, uh, sugar. I'm going to put two tablespoons. There's one, and then my last one's probably going to run over because, you know, I like sweet stuff. And that's okay. Okay. And then we're going to add water, and it says a fourth of a cup, and I've got more than that in there. I should have went and put my glasses on a while ago, um, but I'm just going to put it in this cup. I had the vinegar. So there's a fourth of a cup of water, and we're going to put salt and pepper, just, you know, uh, Again, to what your family likes. I'm trying to, although I love salt, um, I'm trying to back off of it a little bit. Um, my blood pressure still gives me a little bit of trouble. So, that's it. And I'm sorry, Clint, I gotta get something to... I tell him every time, I'm gonna stand in this spot. But I don't, I run all over the place. So this, see how pretty that is? And um, it's optional if you want to put a little oil in here, if you want to put a little um, olive oil or um, just regular, um, you know, cooking oil or balsamic vinegar, uh, balsamic oil. That's just going to give it all the different flavors. Uh, you can put some dill in here rosemary i mean just the it's just limitless the things that you can do to this nice little salad so this if you're just doing the cucumber and onions you would put this in the refrigerator and let it stay for at least an hour where everything marinates good and then you dish it up in a pretty bowl 
and you got a nice cool uh, summer side dish. Uh, for me, I'm gonna add a couple of my beautiful tomatoes. Uh, and I'm so proud of these, look guys. And this has been such a good project for me. I wish I had done it a few years ago when I first quit working. Um, my grandchildren have loved going and picking the garden. Uh, not so much hoeing it out or planting it, but they have enjoyed watching it grow and being so excited about seeing one almost ready to pick and we'll say, Let's just wait till tomorrow and let it get just a little bit more sunshine. And when they come and look at it and it's pretty and red, I mean, you can just see the uh, excitement on their face, uh, which makes me happy. So, um, I, anybody who has time and you can think about it, even if you just put them in a bucket on your back porch, it's so satisfying to see God's miracle in growing our food. Uh, you know, when you slow down a little bit and you're just grateful for every little thing, um, it really does overwhelm me sometimes. You know, how blessed we are. We just take it for granted. So these, again, I'm going to put them in, you can do them in slices or look how pretty. You can do them however you want, uh, but I like to do mine in little wedges. More food for my chicks. And then, if you have any blemishes, that one's okay, but you could, I'll go ahead and take that off. You can take them off. And then just little wedges where one bite's going to be enough. And you'll see how it brightens up this salad. So even just the colors on top of that. This is just one of my favorite little side dishes. Cut our core out and our little tip. Like I said, I always like to look for any imperfections. That'll be fine. And then just little wedges, bite size, where you get that good little bit of salt and sweet, a little bit of sour bite with the vinegar. I'm going to do one more just because they're beautiful and that's the way I like my salad. And to make my chicks happy. Um, just thinking about um, how far this has gone already, guys. I'm, I am just truly humbled at uh, how well it's being received. And when I get messages from you guys that I haven't heard from in a few years, um, it really just warms my heart. And I know that all those years in the business, you guys ended up being not just loyal customers, but my friends. And um, I think back of the last 25 years of how you guys raised me. I was just a baby when I went in business. And not only did you raise me, you raised my boys, uh, you know, helping me with them taking them to ball games and taking them to the library. Thank you, Judge Potter, Judge Henry. Um, Clint still loves to read, thank you very much, even though you're gone. Um, so, you know, the restaurant business was so good to me and I, I miss you all a lot, uh, but not enough to go back into all that headaches. Um, speaking of that, real quick, um, you know, if you can support your local restaurants and your small businesses, this COVID has been so hard um, on them. Um, for, and they were, they're like me, they're trying to provide for their family and this has been such a hardship. So if you can stop by and get a meal to go, um, if you can buy a gift card for later on, I know they appreciate it so much. Uh, two of my sisters have ended up, or my only two sisters, have ended up in the business. Uh, Con Con's on Russell Road and uh, Melissa's, um, I think it's called Country Kitchen, Melissa's Country Kitchen, and she's on out Russellville Road by the Rockfield School. And they have just, when I hear their struggles, 
um, you know, it just, um, it hurts me for them that there's really no good solution to this. You know, what do you do? You've already invested your life into it. So what do you do now? So just, I would appreciate very much uh, all the small business owners and uh, restaurants, you know, Teresa's is still going and Heather is doing a good job uh, taking care of that. You know, stop by and tell them you appreciate them uh, giving the good fight. Um, so, okay, enough of that. Now, look at this, how that just that little bit of red has brightened that up and made it so pretty. And you, we mixed it up good. We're gonna put a lid on it, put it in the refrigerator for at least an hour, and you've got a beautiful, nice, cool side dish for your dinner tonight or your lunch today. I just thank you all so much for joining us, for going with us on this journey, and uh, we're gonna see you real soon. This is Teresa with It's All Gravy with Teresa. <laughs>